what exactly is sound? Well, sound, sound is our way of understanding, or at least, or hearing, or getting information on what's moving around us. And almost everything in nature moves back and forward somehow, or if it continues moving, then it's continuous somewhere. But most things will vibrate back and forth at a certain frequency, uh, and that's just uh, mechanical physics. Uh, but then when, you, when it moves forward, when a surface moves to one direction, it'll compress air in one direction, and then this compressed air will move into a less compressed air, a lower pressure area, and that's kind of the way the wave moves along. So it's a, it really is exactly like in water. If you push water to one side, it'll, it'll create a little lump of water that'll then move along and uh, at a different speed, of course. So sound, I guess, or acoustics, is just mechanical vibrations in, uh, in the air, in the molecules of air that's around it, pressure. But of course, you know with waves in the water, that's when you have a wave that goes up and down, you also have movements of water that go back and forth. And that we also have in acoustics that we call the acoustic velocity. So I would say it's characterized by the pressure going up and down, also the velocity of the molecules going back and forth, and this whole wave goes forward. So it's not, it's not the molecules that will be going forward, but just the, the, the shock of, or, the, or the movement of the, this wave. So I guess that's, that's what sound is, and it's a, it's a great way of understanding what, what happens a long way away. But then how do we perceive that sound? Well, then it's quite then it gets quite complicated. But all all of this sound, so it's it comes from different places and different sources. So there's lots of different frequencies. Frequencies is the speed the object moves, uh, compressing the air. And you can hear like a car on one side, a guitar here, a dog dreaming here. But all of this is it's all pressure going up and down at a different speeds. Mm -hmm. And all of this comes into our eardrum through a canal and comes to our eardrum and basically the eardrum will go back and forth. And that's, that's all that happens on a mechanical side here. Then there's a bit of an amplification through little bones and then there's another membrane that goes into water, the cochlea, and, and then there's little nervous system with little, little, uh, little hairs that will all vibrate at different frequencies. So that's the mechanical electric side, I would say, nervous side. The nerves get activated when these little hairs move. So we have a very powerful signal processing system in our brain that allows us to chop down all of this information and to separate it in different sine waves or frequencies to understand what the source of sound on is exactly, even if they're all mowed up, or what the different sources of sound are, where they're coming from, because we have two ears, so the, the sound, the timing is different, where it's coming from, and with all the reflections, what type of environment are we on? So we have a, a, an extremely sensitive measurement instrument, an extremely powerful signal processing system in our, in our brain.